just going to attempt another update video after the last three took too long. Um, all right, I'll do it quickly then. I got the main lot here. This, this is in the way bunk bed kind of thing. Bottom bunk's been converted. Got this new space now, mainly beetles. And this is the latest. That's supposed to be a tank for sna uh, rainbow snakeheads, but at the minute it's got no snakeheads. Been set up for a while though, I'm just waiting on the fish. And um, that's my main bookshelf with most of my, the rest of my stuff and giant stick and sex. Um, over here, nothing yet. Just set these up today. Need to get bramble after this video, but um, that's Yuri Canfer Corusier. Um, I'm probably going to pronounce every single Latin and scientific name wrong, but I'll put it in the description if you want to check. Again, I read these online so much, I never actually hear anybody pronounce them. Um, start next to these Geosisarma mandarin or Geosisarma white arm. Uh, white arm. You can just see a male in there. I've got two males and a female. No breeding yet, though. And here you've got my giant stick insects. Antrail or Antrail Stolly. And Tirachoide Jiang Feng and Lensis. About half grown. And also you've got my Haniella Ichinada. And at the back here you've got Haniella de Hani. And she's a couple. Of, this one's a couple of years old now. I'm not sure. Toast. Uh, too sure about her. About her. But um, she and another female. You know, I had two other females who since died. They're the mother of all these Hanilla the honey in there. You can just make them out. Um, next to that, I think they're called Tismaea ceratops or something like that. We've got an adult pair from Bugfest. Bugfest was um, a big show in February. I went to our own table. Got a lot more stuff there than I thought I would. It was, it was a really good show. Um, Haniella Irontaner, Hitropteryx Dialada. Um, that's it for sticking sex on the top shelf. Down here you've got my Australian Huntsman, Holoconia Insignius, my Patman Frog, who's bird. She's a peppermint morph. Yemen Chameleon in there. Rombardera species Thailand. These are gigantic mantis, these are. I mean, she's pre sub adult and already a bit, a bit bigger than the sub -adult, average sub adult mantis. And here you've got my Bart mantis from Salonica Humbertella species. Humbertella Elia or something. Another Bart mantis, you can just make it out if you can. See that black spot in the middle? That's the four axial terat shoulders. I got a trio of them. I've been dying for this species for years. I love them. Um, in the ears, Heterachetae uh, orientalis, if I can get the bastard thing open. Made that tank myself. Um, just see, these these have been taking ages to grow. They haven't molded in a long while. But I, had, I did originally, originally have six, but all of them died early. And um, luckily, I've got a male and female pair left. First generation, Philippus regius, adult male, last, Phronis margin maculatus, Florida rip scorpion. Need to get her uh, re housed. Right, I'm going to go for these quick. Phoenis ferus epiconensis, along with Epidaeus and Orion Minerta, you can't make her out there. And Arrestus Mahotii. Veronicia bellosa, first generation nymphs, along with adult pair female and uh, male. All, the, all of those in there are first generation. Actually, no, they're like third or fourth, actually. Um, this, is my, this is my latest community stick and set tank. Not just stick and sets, though, you can just make out tough pit grasshoppers. Really funny little things. Better than all sets, in my opinion. Um, Hermagoras cultural ptosis, uh, incubated them from eggs, and I got quite a few hatched out, hoping to breed them soon. But that's a long way off, they've just hatched. Creoxylus spinosus, or spinosus, you can just make out a female and a male there. Oh wait, I still have a female. They used to spend almost all the time on the ground. Malaysian vinegaroon, uh, rainbow millipedes, and Burmese millipedes. Uh, up here you've got fire millipedes from Mozambique and Chinese on the green. And there you've got furnace X or filters Pruniana. And over here, I'll do the last. Over here you've got my Madagascar and bullseye moths larvae at the minute, caterpillars. Got about 20 of them. Just eating the hell out of my privet, but got about 20 large grubs at the minute. And in here, if you can, where is he? Up here. That's my male. Emerald cockroach wasp. I did have a female, but she died the day I got her, unfortunately. I'm hoping to get a replacement soon. 
Um, these are the adult male Humbertalia. I was never, that's the other tank I've made. I've only made those two myself. Um, a bit shit. <laughs> but um, I haven't housed them properly yet, so they're just in those tubs until I get them housed. Um, Humbertalia Salonica males. I think I said that, already said that. Um, Turkestan roaches for feeders. Quite a large colony there. Quite large by my standards because I've uh, had them that many before, but um, I'll get more of them. You to sell a sculpture from Shudor on one or something like that. The first generation D something Durbiana Layardi larva. Oh, their larva as well. Mecronia torquada, si um, six larva. And Dynastis Hercules septionolensis, six larva in there. Uh, Necrosia anulipes, along with Pseudo Phasma lakini. Demon Adama, last one. And in there, you, I've still got the um, American, well, I think they're American, pond bugs, Abydes species. In here, you've got tent, Greek tent with spiders, wall weavers, quite smart. Blend in with like, the debris in the web, but they've got quite unusual spines on them. All from here are species from the Philippines. These are great stick insects, these are. They don't behave like any other stick insect I've ever had. They just seem more alert and hyperactive. Quite fast as well. Um, we had a dragon trying to eat him. <laughs> and over here, more feeders, uh, lobsters, and those are the American ones for my emerald cockroach wasps. They only have Parapeltas americana or tur adult turkestans on rare occasion. There's the Hermagoras hatchery. And here you've got my first generation Paractosoma marcaresi. Um, that female's about to molt tonight, I guess. Um, along with the wing buds swelling up, I noticed that they go uh, very soft before, like the night before they molt. Um, and just here, you can see one of my first generation and first adult females. They're stunning stick insects, so they're one of my favourites, definitely. Eating a hell of a lot of hypericum, though. Um, I'll try and get her in now. Shit. Uh, Costa Rican katydids, um, first generation, and some extra nymphs. I got a bugfest, Greek ant lion, Arodula majuscula, giant rainforest mantids. Got eight nymphs. Um, over here, you've got my Malaysian katydids. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name on these, so I can't remember properly. But it's um, a load of pre sub adult nymphs, uh, mostly females, unfortunately. I've only got a few males. Look at them, might equal lots more eggs. First generation banded flower mantis, Theopropus elegans. There's my other pre sub pair of Rombardera species Thailand. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot that. Hanarla grey in, um, eggs. Got them from a female I was keeping. And also uh, owl moth pupa. And um, a Vicula area of Aris color. Just make them out there. Um, yeah, and these are. And, Bethropsis, Mandeca, Fismantis, and these are the favourite mantis I've got at the minute. Ferradodis rhombicolis. I got six nymphs at Bugfest, the last ones I had left. And luckily, well, they were insects for the instars. Got them home, got the magnifying glass, and luckily I got three males and three females. Now, they originally were, the males were fourth instar and the females were third. But um, I'm keeping it in this exo, which was intended for dart frogs, but never got around to that so it's just using like a greenhouse kind of thing to get these grow in and as you can see it's worked they are now fifth in star got three females and three males um well i tried to rush it so i got like a minute left on the hd recording but that's about it just thought i'd do a quick update before i get some ramble there's currently around 54 species i think unless i've missed one or two give or take yeah, that's it.